Hello, my friends. Welcome to your Mercury Retrograde Yoga class. My name is Natasha, also known as Nourish Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. If you like witchcraft, wellness, everything in between, spooky stuff, hit that subscribe button. I put out full free yoga classes for every new moon, full moon, uh, astrological transits like this, those solstices. I put out free tarot readings and astrology videos. I kind of do it all here. So if you like that, hit that subscribe button. Um, this class is specifically for Mercury Retrograde. If you're watching this at the present day of which it is posted, um, we do have a Mercury Retrograde starting in Sagittarius on November. It will be fully retrograde November 26th. It starts the 25th or 26th, depending on what time zone you're in. But, you know, this is a class to get us grounded, to kind of teach us that Mercury retrograde isn't the bad, the worst thing ever. You know, I don't believe there's anything like there's not such a thing as good or bad astrology. I think all astrology is just energy that we need to work with. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde isn't fun. It's not the best, but it's not evil and we can work with the energy. As with any retrograde, Mercury retrograde is really about relearning lessons, reevaluating, revamping things. That's why we find that things from the past come back. Um, Mercury is our planet of tech, travel, and communication. So that's why we see things go wonky with that. Um, uh, this is again in Sagittarius, so it is in a fire sign, so you might notice that people are a little bit fiery. We also have a new moon in Sagittarius coming up. You know, this is going to kind of cause our communication to be a little fiery. Just, you know, be careful what you say. Think before you speak, you know. Um, if you want to learn more about what's happening with this Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius, it's just the astrology of the week. I'll have videos on my Instagram and TikTok, as well as a full free astrological reading and tarot reading for what's happening for Mercury retrograde and for the new moon Sagittarius here on my channel. Um, so yeah, again, Mercury is ruled, um, the zodiac signs that rule Mercury are Gemini and Virgo. And again, Mercury is our planet of communication. So it rules the throat chakra. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. And we're also gonna be working on getting grounded because Mercury retrograde is very ungrounded, especially in a fire sign. So this class is just to help you take that moment when things start to get frustrating, you know, the Mercury retrograde does what it does and cause frustrations and issues with your car or your computer or your ex comes back or like, oh, miscommunications. This is, you know, an opportunity to kind of get grounded and just take a moment for yourself in all of that, you know. Um, to win the Mercury retrograde is to just let it happen, to go with the flow and again, take this time to reevaluate things, to journal, to just really tap in um, to yourself, to go inward, to again, reflect on things that have happened in the past, those, those lessons that come back around during Mercury retrograde. So that's what this is all about. Also, again, if you're watching this in the present day when this was filmed, um, I do have my Black Friday sale going on right now. So I do teach all kinds of yoga. I teach witchcraft and wellness. Um, my witchcraft and wellness bundle is on sale that has courses for um, moon magic yoga. So classes for each of the moon phases, chakra magic yoga, classes for each of the chakras. Um, I have a tarot magic class that has a yoga class for literally every tarot, major arcana tarot card and the suits. Um, and the court cards and it'll teach you how to read tarot. It comes with a tarot journal. I have a moon magic journal I have a 30-day witchcraft wellness challenge and that's just like that's not that's not even all the courses that come in that bundle um, It is on sale for half off for Black Friday until the end of November So that will be linked in the description box below if you'd like to support a small business um, That is there for you and learn witchcraft and wellness and everything in between. I think that is all I want to say. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is an accessible class, a trauma-informed class, all levels friendly. Even if you've never done yoga before, you can do my classes here on YouTube. Um, so I have any props that you need nearby. I have my yoga strap here. I have my yoga blocks there. You can have a pillow. Um, my dog, Jack, you know, <laughs> he's just hopefully... He will just stay nice and CPEP through this whole class. If you've been on my channel before, he kind of usually barks or annoys me the whole time. But, you know, <laughs> we do what we can. Um, so I think that's it. We're going to go ahead and get started, friends. Remember that everything I say is an option, not an order. You listen to your body. You do what feels best for you. And we're going to get on into it. So we are going to get started in a child's pose because we are getting grounded today, my friends. We're going to take some time for ourselves and to just get through this retrograde. So I'm going to bring my knees as wide as my mat. If you need some extra support under the knees, you can put um, a pillow or a blanket or double up on your yoga mat. So I'm opening up my knees as wide as the mat so I'm going to make space for the belly and thighs. And I'm going to sink my hips down to my heels. I'm going to walk my arms out and I'm just going to sink on down onto this mat. And I'm going to get really grounded here. <clears throat> 
I really want you to take up space. I want you to focus on your breath. And just connect with the map, connect with the ground. Again, Mercury retrograde can kind of leave us feeling just super ungrounded, just very chaotic, especially in a fire sign in Sagittarius season. So we just want to focus on this grounding energy. So we're bringing our awareness to our breath, grounding ourselves in our body. And how do we do that? We start to bring, again, our awareness to our breath. Notice what happens in the body as we breathe. So maybe on the inhale, you feel the chest expand, the belly expand, taking up space. And on the exhale, you ground yourself deeper into the mat. So maybe you lift up all 10 fingers and then bring them back down one at a time down to the mat. Maybe squeeze the mat with your fingers. Maybe notice every part of you that's touching the mat. So your fingers, your palms, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, perhaps your forehead or your chin, maybe your chest or your belly, the knees, the shins, the tops of the feet. These are all parts of us that are touching the mat, touching the ground. And again, we Inhale, filling up, taking up space, and we exhale, let it go and sink deeper. When you find that Mercury retrograde is retrograding, I encourage you to just bring it back to your breath. So we're going to do some five-part breathing here. So use this as a tool when you feel those retrograde frustrations coming out. Just take a moment to breathe, bring it back to your breath. So listen to my voice and I'll count you through this breath work. So we're going to inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. You can continue that five part breathing on your own counts. We're going to start to invite in some movement here. So I'm going to inhale here and exhale. I'm going to walk my hands over to the right. So I'm finding a side bend here in my child's pose. Breathing into this left side body. Creating space here. Breathing into that place between left hip and left rib cage. Now we also have... This new moon in Sagittarius coming up, and it's going to be directly opposite Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. And again, this Mercury retrograde is in Sagittarius. And Jupiter is our planet of expansion. So that's what I want you to focus on here is that expansion in the side body as you breathe. On the next inhale, we gently walk our hands through center and exhale, walk them over to the left. Now breathing into that right side body. Again, we're breathing deep here. Getting that nice balance of expansion energy and also still grounding ourselves into the mat. On the next inhale, I'm gently going to return to center. Exhale here. And then inhale, I'm slowly going to rise up to a tabletop position. So moving slowly with intention. Finding yourself in your tabletop. Shoulder, elbow, wrists are stacked. Hips are stacked over the knees. 
And we're gonna go right into a cat cow flow here, just warm up the spine a bit. So on the inhale, we're gonna lift the chin, open up the heart, arching the back, sticking the booty out. I really want you to focus on lifting that chin here, opening up the throat. Exhale to round, tucking, tucking that chin to chest, tucking the pelvis, filming out the shoulders. Inhale, open up. And exhale, round. Now you can do five to seven more of these on your own breath, linking your breath to your movement and doing what feels good. So maybe taking it from side to side, maybe some full body circles, just finding your flow here, finding your breath. Taking this moment for you amidst the chaos of Mercury retrograde. can gently finish up your last round here and return to a neutral spine. Now we're just going to get in a little bit of balancing here. Again, some breath work just to work on that core just a bit. And again, we're focusing on balance. You know, Sagittarius in the tarot is ruled by temperance and that's all about peace, balance, harmony. And that's what we're going to work on here. So we're going to start with the right arm and the left leg. Now you can do one or the other. I want you to kind of experiment here and see what feels good for you. So maybe extend the right arm out and be like, okay, maybe this feels like enough. I'm just going to do the right arm. Maybe you want to extend that left leg back and you're like, you know what? This feels good. I'm going to do here. Maybe you want to do both. So right arm extends, left leg extends, active fingers and active toes. So either pointing or flexing. I'm going to inhale to lengthen and exhale, bend my elbow, bend my knee, crunch it in like I'm trying to touch my elbow to my knee. Of course, they don't have to touch. I inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze two more on this side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, release. You can shake it out for a moment before we go to the other side. So same thing here. I want you to see what feels best for you. Maybe you extend the left arm and you're like, you know what? That feels good. Maybe you extend the left leg and that feels better. Maybe you want to do both. Engaging the core here. We inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bend the elbow, bend the knee, squeeze it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, last time. And exhale, release again, kind of shake it out here. All right, my friends, we're going to lower down to our bellies here on our mat, taking our time, moving slowly on down. Our hands are planting underneath our shoulders, our elbows are squeezing to the sides. So we're going to get into that throat here. So on the inhale, I'm going to press my palms into the mat and just lift my head, chest, and shoulders, really lifting up the chin, opening up the throat. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release, two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now in the next inhale, I'm going to bring my 
forearms in front of me. So planting my palms into the mat, my forearms into the mat. This is our Sphinx pose. Now key here is to keep the shoulders pressed down and away from the ears. It's very easy to kind of slump into the shoulders here, but no, I'm pressing them down and away and I'm lifting my chin and opening up my throat. Now, if you want to get more into our neck, our cervical spine, you can shake the head no from side to side. Finding your breath here. Now maybe you gently come back to stillness. Now option to stay here, if this feels like enough for you, if you want a little bit more, we're pressing into the palms and we're straightening our arms. And I'm really lifting the chin here, opening up the throat. Option to stay here, option to start to walk the hands back. And we're walking them all the way back, slowly, moving with intention until they're right underneath our shoulders in our high cobra pose. So my hips and pelvis are pressed into the mat. Palms are underneath the shoulders, pressing into the mat. My shoulders are pressed down on the way from the ears and I'm lifting my chin and breathing here. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna press back into a child's pose. Again, you can widen the knees to honor, make space for the belly and thighs, and we're sinking down and getting grounded here. Now, if you want a little bit of a release in the wrist, because we spent a lot of time on the hands, you can turn those palms facing upward, rotating at the wrists. And we're going to breathe here. And tapping into that grounding energy, taking this moment to focus on your breath. Now gently on the next inhale, you can rise up and we're going to do one last thing here in our tabletop. We're going to take some twists because, you know, Mercury retrograde is also about releasing, right? We got to first release the frustration of the Mercury retrograde. And also these old things, these things from the past, these old lessons come up again so we can reevaluate and be sure we want to leave them in the past and then release them. So we're going to start with the right arm. I'm going to inhale my right arm up and open. And then I'm going to thread the needle under the left arm, bringing my shoulder down to the mat and dropping down my head as well. Now this left hand can plant in front of your face. You can extend it overhead, or you can also take a half bind behind your back, whatever feels right and good for you. And we're breathing into this twist. Now, if that left arm is extended, you can bring it to plant in front of your face, press into that palm, inhale, press up and open that right arm one more time, exhale, release, we'll take it to the other side. So I'm inhaling my left arm up and open, and exhale, I'm threading the needle, bringing that left shoulder down to the mat, dropping down. Again, that right hand can stay planted in front of your face or it can extend overhead. Or take a half bind behind your back. And we're breathing. Bringing that right hand to plant in front of your face again. If it's not already there, press into the palm. Inhale, open up. And exhale, release. You can go ahead and take a seat on your mat. 
and you seat that feels comfortable easy seated pose means a little bit something different for everyone so do what feels best for you and your body i like to sit with my legs crossed if you're sitting on your butt maybe take a moment scoop some goodness out from underneath you you can bring those hands to your knees palms facing down for that grounding energy and we're just going to continue to get into that throat again this is what mercury rules we want to make sure that during mercury retrograde our communication is clear and concise to avoid miscommunications <clears throat> so we're going to inhale here exhale just drop your chin down to your chest and we're just going to shake the head no here really slowly really exaggerated from side to side and if there's anything you want to say no to here anything you want to release Maybe you just want to say no to Mercury Retrograde you know, all together. Any of the frustrations that come with Mercury Retrograde or any of the old lessons, again, that maybe are already coming back. You're like, no, I'm good. Don't want that. You can say no to it here. And I encourage you to say it out loud. Use that throat chakra. Say no, thank you. And gently returning to center, chin to chest. Now we're gonna nod the head, yes. So I'm dropping my head back, really lifting the chin, opening up the throat. And then the chin comes forward, chin to chest. Now, if there's anything you'd like to say yes to, especially with this new moon in Sagittarius coming up, which I'll also have a yoga class for here on my channel as well. Saying yes to expansion. And yes to luck success those are all things that jupiter again the planet that rules sagittarius is all about and gently you can return to center you can release here if there's any final postures that you wish to take for your practice this was just a little short sweet mercury retrograde class if there's anything you need you can go ahead and take it here i'm gonna leave you in this seated meditation um, pose you can lay down on your mat you could stand if you really want to i encourage you to spend at least five to ten breaths wherever you are just again grounding releasing just taking this moment for yourself when the frustrations start to come through you can always come back to this class just to take that moment to breathe and release and yeah that is all i have for you today my friend again i will also have a class and a full video explaining the astrology and a tarot reading for all the things happening um if you enjoy witchcraft and wellness and everything in between a little bit of spooky stuff hit that subscribe button and if you'd like to get my witchcraft and wellness bundle for half off it is available it has all the things the link will be in the description box below i also have a membership here on youtube you can hit that join button we do live yoga live tarot live new moon and full moon workshops i appreciate you so much i hope you have a wonderful mercury retrograde may the odds be ever in your favor and i will see you next time